Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create a NAS with your Raspberry Pi. So, first, um, go over to the Open Media Vault website at openmediavault.org, click this download button, press where it says here, and then find Raspberry Pi images. Then download OMV underscore three blah blah blah. Um, just download that one, and then it should start downloading your uh, file. So here it is. Now I have already got the file. It's just here. It gives you a ISO image in the end. So I'm I'm just going to stop this download, and then. Nope, nope, wrong thing. Um, and then you need to. I'm just going to delete this because you don't need it. So, once you have this ISO file, uh, download Etcher. So, I'm going to search Etcher. So, I'll show you where you can download that. So, if you go on Google and search Etcher, here it is, it's the first one and just download it so you should have this so select the image so now I'm going to grab this file and press open now you need to have your you need to have a micro SD card for your Raspberry Pi plugged into your computer make sure it is completely empty and then you should be able to select it in etcher so i've got it here press flash this will take 10 to 15 minutes um if it takes a long time well that's normal as long as it's still going down here it might take a long time it might not it depends on the speed of your sd card and the speed of your hard drive and everything but it should start flashing and then uh, you'll just have to wait until it finishes. So once it has done, you will see this screen here. So it says flash complete and it'll say do you want to flash another. So now you, you will need to close this window and eject the SD card. So now... Once you have got the SD card out, you need to get your Raspberry Pi and insert it into the SD card slot. So now you will need to plug your Raspberry Pi in to um, just with a main socket and then plug in a Ethernet cable into your router and into your Raspberry Pi. So now use a app if you have an iPhone or an iPad or whatever. Uh, download an app called Thing. So or download an IP scanner on your computer if if you don't want to use Thing. Then scan your network for devices. And then find the IP address for your Raspberry Pi. So mine is 192.168.0.40. Now type into your Chrome bar the IP address. So for me it's 192.168.0.40. Then you should be on the screen. So now just type in um, the, this username and this password. So now you should see this screen now. Find Access Rights Management, click User, then add a user, and then type in this. So um, as the name, um, just type in sort of like Pi, and then um, just you don't need um, Pi. Uh, you don't need um, a comment or an email. And then type in a password. So uh, it can be anything, but I'm just going to do open media vault, just like the main one. And then leave the shell as bin dash. Press save. 
Well, once you've pressed save, it will um, say that it's saving. So once you have saved it, it'll say, do you want to save it? So I'm just going to save that. And now press apply. And yes. So it will start applying the configuration changes. And once it's done, click, oh, okay, um, click edit on the user. Go in groups. And then add sudo. So find it. S E S U right so sudo and then S S H yeah so once you have enabled sudo and S S H make sure you press save and then it will um, say you need to apply the configuration changes so just say yes I want to do that so now um you should see this so go onto google and download putty so it's here and make sure you download um if you have a 32-bit computer download the the two bit if you have 64-bit download the 64-bit one and now you have you need to open putty type in your respires ip so 192.68.0.40 press open and then click yes and then it will say log in as and then type the user that you just created so for me it's pi and then I set the password as open media vault so it should let you on it won't look like you type when you type the password but you actually are it but it doesn't show so once that has happened you should see this so for me it for some reason it took ages but it should show this now type sudo I just don't, okay sudo swap off dash a and now wait for that command to finish so it might say sudo password try so just type in the password it open media vault is your tie selected but what I typed and then that is finished so type um, sudo update um, dash rc dot d space r r d c a c h so for some reason it's just disconnected me from raspberry pi so um, if that happens just connect again and run the command that he was typing before so I'm going to do that So now, there we go, password for pi. Now, here we go, it should say, all right, it's giving me some warnings, but that is fine. So, so now do sudo update dash rc dot d, rc dot d, and then collect collect D and then disable and then might give you some warnings but it's still fine and then sudo monit stop R R D C A C H E A Right, it said there's no service without me, but it doesn't matter. sudo monit stop collect d. Right, so it's giving me a load of errors, but um, it did that last time I set this up, but it still worked fine. So, now I'll do 
sudo apt-get install u-n-a-t-t-e-n-d-e-d -E -E so unattended dash upgrades dash y and then it should start installing the package so mine already had the latest version which happened last time but it just run the command just in case you didn't and now do this is the long command so it'll t take a little while to type well actually it's two commands but all in one line so so crunt a b dash l and then the line a squiggle bracket and then cat semicolon echo and oh, my echo spot just came on um okay um i'm not sure how to help you with that okay i didn't want you to come on right so that happened so um now you speech mark at daily um, apt dash get update and then you do and and so and then u n a t t e n e d dash upgrade speech mark semicolon um then bracket and then line front a b dash and then it said no current tab for pi but still just run the command just in case and now you should now go to the website again so i'm gonna go to here it does log you out say software failure blah 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 um but if, but now just type in um the type in the admin not the um not the use that you just created the admin details so admin and open media log. so now log in and it'll say look on chrome um make sure you have a memory stick or just some type of um external storage media um plugged in to the uh, to a usb slot and make sure that it has nothing on it so now go to uh, file systems under storage and find the memory whatever that you've plugged into the usb thing usb slot and then um click it and click mount and then you press apply and press yes and then it'll say play configuration changes and it will do it so now um go go under services and find smb slash cifs and now um enable the service and then go to shares so it's there and then um, press add enable and then select a shared folder so press add then select a device i'm going to say that and then i'm going to call it um i'm going to call it what should i call it media media yeah media will do and then um in the path um just say media oh wait i'm going to say files actually because i've already got that so i'm actually going to say files there i'm going to call it files and the path is going to do forward slash files and now i'm going to leave the permissions as and this to be that blah 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 and then press save and Hang on, did I miss something out? Files on NAS files. Yes, save. Right, now press apply and then press yes. Work. And now 
you have done it. Right, so I forgot to press save on here. So make sure in the SMB slash CIFS thing, you enable it and press save and then apply and then yes. Because I, I was checking the services thing and it said it wasn't running. So um, once you've done that, it should say apply configuration changes and it should finish. So just check that your time zone is set correctly uh, because mine it's set wrong so I need to set it right. Also go in services and make sure that everything's working. So SSH you should say this unless you're SSH in then it'll say that um, part the pi is connected and then go in this and it should say this and now to get your um, to get your computer to connect to it do this open um, open the file open file explorer and then click map network drive so it should be backslash it so it should be backslash backslash raspberry pi backslash and then whatever the shared folder is called so for me it's called files and then press finish now enter the user detail for the user pi so the so you created early you created the users so pi and open media role or what i'm going to do is create another um, account for me so i'm going to go in user add and then add name and then Kira. and you don't have to enter an email but enter a password so i'm going to do that real quick so once you have entered your details press so once you like so once you have um add a you add the user like i have press apply yes check your file explorer and i'm going to log into my account I'm going to tick the box that says remember my credentials and then I've clicked open. so now you will see uh, an empty folder and you can put files on and go on other computers and you can get those files back and also if you want to create a private folder you can do that using the ACL thing you, you can do stuff with the you could do stuff with the ACL thing here um and then yeah so that's the tutorial guys 